Good morning all. I've been getting a trickle of posts through from China, so I thought it must be time for another Julian's Electronics post bag. I've no idea what number this is. Let's start with this one. This is from the UK. I think it's cables, so I've got to be careful when I'm cutting it. Knife's out in the shed, so I'll have to use this big knife. Oh, well, it's got some sharpness to it. And here is a power cable. And I think it's just 2.1 millimeters each end. This is for my new workshop in the shed. Oh, is that all that's in here? Yes. So the idea here is I'm setting up uh, my new workshop in the shed. I've got these two uh, strip lights. I'm not sure about warm white, actually, with all this wood. It's making everything look very yellow. Uh, they're powered from this power bank from the cigarette lighter socket. So they're getting 12.6 volts, I think it is. So this cable, the idea is that it's going to be used. Oh, I've just thought of something. <laughs> you see this cable here, which I'm using to power the input of the Muppet 2, is a 2.5, because these outputs are 2.5 millimeter, to 2.1. This is a 2.1 to 2.1. Now I did buy, also in this same order, I think an adapter that has a 2.5 plug and a 2.1 socket on a very short lead. So that was meant to go with this to take 12 volts from this unit. These two sockets come straight off the lithium battery, so that could be as low as 11. But that's fine for a project like this. Um, so yes, there's uh, another part to that. I've just found my knife as well. So let's take that back into the office. So yeah, this is just for power distribution in that new workshop. Um, this looks like it's reasonably reasonable thick wire. Um, well, it's pretty thin really, but this is probably good for a couple of amps. And as I say, that's 2.1. No springy uh, uh, thing in the center of the uh, receptacle for the pin. Sometimes you get a little springy clamp thing. These are just drilled or milled or drilled or whatever holes. Um, okay, let's take a look at that one on eBay. So this is the item. It came from a UK seller. It's uh, £3.34. That's approximately $4.36. Uh, that, of course, includes postage because they're offering free postage. It is a 2 meter, uh 2.1 by 5.5 DC cable with a male plug at each end. And this came from Asterisk CDL Asterisk. Now I'm just going to listen to this one back because something weird has happened to the driver for my Logitech ca uh, webcam, which I'm using as a microphone, well, and a camera in this case. Uh, so I just want to check the sound levels. I don't quite know what happened. I think it might have been a Windows update, but let's give it a go. Yeah, that sound is still distorted. I don't quite know what's going on with that because it used to sound fine. I had to raise my voice a bit when doing the uh, screen grabs, but yeah, I don't quite know what's going on. I'll lower the volume a little bit more, but I'm just worried it's just going to get quieter and quieter until it's un inaudible. Right, expansion board module from China. Is that all that's in there? Yep, I think it is. What is this? Oh. Oh yes, these are regulators on little boards. Yes, I, I've been waiting for these for ages and I have absolutely no memory of why I bought them now. Oh, I think they were for the Giuliano uh, boards. Oh, where are the Giuliano boards? Um, so that you could um, regulate from 5 volts down to 3.3 by having this module just sitting in that board. I don't think I actually designed one to take this module, but yeah, this is probably just, um, is it AMS 1117 regulator, something like that? In fact, let's have a closer look. Uh, yes, it is indeed the AMS 1117. This is a 3.3 volt. What else is on there? You've got an LED, which seems really silly. I suppose you can just uh, melt that off. Lots of capacitors on there as well and a resistor for that LED which is a 1K. Excellent. They really don't care too much about soldering these um, DuPont headers at the proper angle do they? In fact they've very precisely soldered them all 
at that rather strange bent over angle. I mean, I, I suppose it's usable, but uh, yeah, no real worries about getting that in <laughs> at 90 degrees, is there? No. So this is the item. It's 10 pieces AMS 1117, 3.3 regulator, 800 milliamps. Uh, 10 pieces for $2.80. Now, a lot of these sellers are putting this $3 shipping on. Uh, I wouldn't have paid that because I kind of refuse to. Um, and in fact, I've been looking around for people who still do free shipping or the lower cost shipping. Servi, I was looking at yesterday, $1.18 for shipping. So I probably didn't pay that. Uh, for 10 pieces, as I say, and these came from World Chips. Now, I put a compressor filter on the audio this time. Let's see what that does. Right, next up is a box. That compressor filter did help a little bit, but it's still very distorted. I don't know what's happened. I don't know whether Logitech changed their drivers or it's some sort of Windows change. I suspect the latter, but my screen capture audio may never be the same again. Ah, LEDs, red LEDs, uh, rated voltage 2.0 to 2.2 volts. But there's something special about these. Right, I'm just going to do a very naughty thing. I'm going to connect it straight to a battery. But these little lithium cells, particularly when they're a bit flat, which this one is, have quite a high resistance. So you kind of don't need a resistor. And there it is, a red LED. But this one's special because this one flashes on and off. So yes, it's one of the 1.5 hertz ones. So I'm planning to make um, a big panel of these using um that mm, it's hardboard you used to be able to get it years ago hardboard with all the holes punched in it perforated hardboard something like that and i will simply wire these actually thinking about it i don't need resistors for these because if i power them from a constant current power supply i'd have to make sure that i did use a constant current power supply the more of these things that you wire up in parallel the more you can say that the approximate current is going to be uh, half of the number of LEDs because you can imagine that they're half on and half off. So you should get a fairly reasonable uh, current draw. Yes, that could work. And then I don't need to bother with resistors. Otherwise, I'm going to need uh, something like a, I don't know, a 500 ohm, 470 ohm resistor in series with each and every one of these LEDs. Now, I mean, that can be done. And the idea is not that I'm putting these on a PCB. I'm actually going to put these on that perforated hardboard. And actually, the legs are pretty long on these. They, I think the um, listing said that they were shorter than that. But uh, yeah, I think those were at one inch spacing. So I should be able to bend the legs over, attach them in parallel with the next LED, and then just daisy chain them in a great long line. So that should look pretty cool. Check these out on eBay. So these are 500 pieces, five millimeter diffused red, red light, single self flash 1.5 Hertz blink LED diodes. Now it's interesting that they say that they're two to 2.2 volts and you need a resistor even though they have a flasher circuit built in. All the flashing LEDs I've used in the past just took a straight five volts, but I suspect these would blow up on five volts. I suppose I could try that, couldn't I? And just see if I cook one. Um, $10.68 free shipping, uh, this seller. And it's Suyanur, uh, or something like that. So I've got 500 of these things. Right, I've got three uh, 1.5 volt arc lines in series in this funny battery holder thing. It's for a Ryobi power tools. Uh, positive is long leg. Let's see what happens. Oh no, that's working fine at four and a half volts. Uh, very similar actually to the brightness that it was um, showing on this thing. So does this thing have built-in regulation? I mean, yeah, it seems fine. Actually, there's one way to test this. Shove it on 9 volts and see what happens. Oh, it's very bright. Rather alarmingly bright, actually. But it hasn't blown. 
So yeah, there must be some sort of current regulation in here. So do you really, oh, it's getting, the legs are getting slightly warm. Do you really need resistors for this? Or could you just run this off five volts and everything would be fine? It's worth a try, isn't it? Right, let's do one more. Because this one's got an interesting rattle to it. I have no memory of what this is. And what's that? Oh, is that the PWM speed controller? An alternative to the one that I'm using on my shed fan. Yes, let's take a look at that. And I think this was a slightly higher power unit. What's the thing that's rattling? Oh, it's just that nut. So I think, yes, I think that's what this is. This is a pulse width modulation. Oh, there's a fuse on it. Um, speed controller. Now, is it 555 based? Let's have a closer look. So what we have, we, we have uh, a pot soldered at a funny jaunty angle again. Big connectors on this. I think that's one of the reasons I got this, because I can sort of hook my fan and battery straight up to this thing. Um, slightly different shapes on these two TO220 devices. So one's probably a diode and one's probably a MOSFET. Oh, they're not using the diodes in parallel, if that's indeed what's going on. Um, motor and power, yeah, that kind of gives the game away. But is that a 555? Camera down, magnifying glass in place. Yes, any 555. Monster great diode there. Oh, is that a Zener possibly? Uh, can't imagine what that's doing. And a link in a JST connector, which is slightly odd. Yes, I think this was quite a high power um pwm controller so yeah it'd be interesting to put that in the fan and see what it's like fuse like i say actually what's the rating on that fuse can we see oh i'm gonna have to take it out actually no i'm not i was just leaving it out and you can just see on there it says f 10 amp so it's a fast blow 10 amp 20 millimeter fuse check this one out on ebay this was some time ago so it's this one 12 to 40 volt 10 amp pwm dc uh, speed control switch two dollars 63 now they've got three dollars shipping uh from world chips i wouldn't have paid that so uh i probably bought this before they put that three dollars shipping on as i say this is from world chips i don't think it says there's much more to be had here than we already now know uh, other than mine looks slightly different to that and so these are today's post bag items now big thanks as always to my sponsor jlc pcb i've got a, a new printed circuit board that i'm working on right at this moment that'll be coming soon also a big thanks of course to my patreon patrons ever generous they are if you'd like to become one you can click this link here and another couple of videos up here if you want to watch more of my electronic stuff and if you're not a subscriber and would like to subscribe you can click this link here cheerio